Good morning, folks. Small bit of plasma doing cartwheels on the northeastern limb. A far side pop and minor surface surge departing. That about sums up the active solar features on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. No eruptions coming this way. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find solar flares have flatlined. This is solar minimum levels right here, and we can blame the sunspots. Taking up the cause for our departing spots is a lone tiny umbra on the south. How about an advanced solar watching note? You can see bright umbral field loops with the departing spots top right. Tiny bright loops for that little guy incoming bottom left. But what are these big ones doing here? There are no sunspots. However, there is surface plaguing and perhaps mesospot activity as well. Two topics for further investigation and perhaps a deeper look sometime soon. Coming to the solar wind, you see more stability but for a bit of increased density that did set off some minor magnetic storms yesterday, and the instability remains today. Coming to quakes, it may be an aftershock but it's still the first six-pointer of October even if the USGS later downgraded it to 5.9. We also had one above average in the Aleutian Islands. Just looking at the current coronal hole, you'd imagine a major quake watch was in effect, but this is where it's vital to check the power of the coronal hole as we've been doing, and as you'll recall, it has only moderate force despite its huge size. It gained a bit this morning with that extra yellow where it was all green, so maybe we'll get some more six-pointers coming today. Folks, the South Carolina flood event is a once in a thousand years, and it's ongoing despite Joaquin moving on fast. Let's watch how the hurricane began the floods, but we can't really blame him for what's happening now or even what happened yesterday. A secondary cell is doing its hurricane spin impression in the last place Carolinians want to see it. When we come to the new wind map for analysis and switch from wind only to wind and pressure, we find that a separate low pressure node has formed in that exact spot there off the east coast and that is what's driving the rains to continue. By the way, Heavy rain is also causing problems in Central America where a major landslide in Guatemala partially buried a town, and in France where rain records are falling too. Some say it's their worst ever. So let's go to Europe and check out the culprit for that. That major low pressure node is still stuck in there in the North Atlantic, but cresting onto land and with it the convergence line and major rains. We'll jump quickly down under. Parts of New Zealand have taken a wallop over the last couple of days, but a convergence cutting up through Australia may be ready to steal that thunder tonight. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Check out the latest episode of Fly on the Wall if you've missed it. Vital points for comprehension and big picture. Also, folks, the venue hotel is sold out, but there are still rooms in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for October 17th and 18th. Observing the frontier brings the forefront of cool science to Steel Town at a level that speaks to anyone. Got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.